They ask for it, you give it. Simple. I don't mind. Really, I don't mind at all. I don't expect anything out of it. Certainly not monetary compensation. No, 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 it's all free. All of it. Now, why they keep coming to me is a mystery, though, tell the truth. In droves, sometimes they come. Lines, limping, begging on their hands and knees for the truth. As though it were the rarest thing on earth. As though it were hidden somehow, sequestered away. It strikes them night and day, directly in the face. Yet they come to me, asking, why? As though belief had to come through someone else, somewhere outside of themselves. I tell them no different than what they actually suspect. Things are hopeless, futile, obliteration. They cringe when they hear it, but all the while they've known, all the while they've <coughs> felt it creep in their bones. That's the part that baffles me. They know. They already know. Babysitter, after all? He did. They convicted him? They did. The evidence must have been overwhelming. It was. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. Uh -huh. Open and shut case. Something they found in the mess. On the window, you mean? The mess on the glass. What was it? Did they say? They say. They say they found a tinge of rage in the blood. Rage. His blood or hers? Rage in his. Terror in hers. So they must have been mixed then, the blood. Must have been. He must have been somehow cut in the killing to shed blood. Must have been. How was that? Did he use a weapon? Dunno, maybe her earrings? Earrings? She wore these big star-shaped earrings. They hung down like knives. Sharp? I guess. So they cut his hands, the earrings, when he his was... His face, too. There were marks on his face. You saw marks on his face? He looked as though he'd been clawed by an animal. How did they tell it was rage by the blood? Color, I guess. They have all kinds of ways of testing these days. Color? Pinkish, they said. And hers? The terror? Deep. Red. 